Didn't he just run away? He's torn up pretty bad. Perhaps he had to fight to protect something. It's all right, little one. I'll help you. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. It's the white chocobo. What happened here? He needs medical attention, and fast. Right. I'll get the doctor. Yeah! Yep! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> it's even worse than I feared. Hey, help me get him to Canopus Farms, now! Yes, Doctor! I won't Doctor. let him die. Of that you have the word of Dr. Gizal. Stop okay, moving around! Quickly! Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, I know what I felt. I'll follow the doc back to Canopus Farms. I'm sorry. Dr. Gazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait here. Some fresh water. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. As I stood there, watching the doctor try to save the Chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Good. Good, that's it. 
Not only because of the legend, I felt a connection, as if we'd fought together. See for yourself. Light, what about the chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? Is he all right? His wounds are cleaned and dressed. But he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. Offer him this. Light, it might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Is this all right? Well, it looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of gizal greens, quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Ask the villagers if they have any greens or milk to spare. Doctor, the chocobo is out of immediate danger. But he needs more treatment before he's fully recovered. So now... Hey, hey! Don't step on the vegetables! Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's all right. No harm done. I was only warning you. I've just planted a whole crop of gazelle seedlings. Right. Chocobo's favorite... Yep. And our bread and butter. My name is Sarala, by the way. This is our field. My father's and mine. We've always worked it together. Nice to meet you and everything. You should feed that white chocobo of yours with some gazal green. Normally we have a full crop, but with father away I have no fertilizer to grow more. That's the last one. But you can have it. He'll become your steed. You could knock me down with a feather. Who'd have thought a stranger would get one over on the doctor and capture the white chocobo first? Get one over? You have a problem with it? No, don't get me wrong. It's just that the doctor has been doing nothing but hunt that chocobo for over a century. One hundred years. And I came along and snatched his prize away. I made him look incompetent at best. Yeah, but look, the chocobo's here. That's the important thing. And still alive, thanks to you. Everyone in this village wants to see that chocobo get better, not just the doctor. I'm pretty much in charge of this village, so if you need any help at all, you just come and talk to me. Sound good? He'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't... Hey, how's that bird doing? Of course, I speak of the white chocobo that you're caring for, Perhaps you would like to feed him some of this fortifying milk. The truth is, one of my regulars wanted it, 
But I just can't stand by seeing that poor creature suffer. You take it. Lost time. Again, they tell me that the White Chocobo is out of danger. Yes, he's safe for now. Thanks to you. He brought the doctor just in time. Lucky for us both. I'm glad we could save that magnificent animal. Now here, I give you this gift. Fuss buckets, aren't they? The villagers, I mean. Everyone's been very kind and helpful. Well, you have to be out here in the wildlands. No one who tries going it alone survives very long. Just remember, if someone scratches your back, they'll expect some back scratching in return. Hi there. Just letting you all know it's time for lunch. That's all. Drink this. It's a unique specimen, without a doubt. But it needs to eat what other chocobos eat. Even a legend can't live on air and admiration. Did you try offering him food again? Is he still refusing you? Yes, we've tried. But he kicks up a fuss loud enough to scare the sheep in Arius. It's you or nobody. I guess I'm stuck with him. Easy now. Things have finally settled down. 
Have you had a chance to talk to everyone here at Canopus Farm? People here, they understand the importance of helping each other out. It's the only way to survive. As long as that chocobo keeps eating, he's bound to recover sooner or later. The problem is, he'll only accept food from your hand. He doesn't need any more surgery. And he won't accept food from me. So it looks like I've done all that I can for him. If you need any help or advice, talk to 13.